Okay, back to painting. I have randomly reached into my box of bones and pulled out a well of chaos. And I've got this one autofocus, so it may be a little bit worse than normal. <laughs> anyway, maybe if I hold it down, just point, keep my hands out of the way. It's got like a squid woman on the front, and there's lots of little symbols on the edges, and there's big siglets or whatever they're called. I've just got blue tacked to my little painting tray here. And I have not primed it because I am planning to paint almost straight out of the bottle because that's what you're supposed to be able to do with bones. So I'm going to try it. And what I've got is stone gray. And I'm pretty much just going to go over all the stone areas. And I'm not worried too much about getting it clean. This is going to be one of those where I go back and repaint over things. I also haven't tried to trim this up by cleaning any mold lines or of course this one seems pretty clean I think I've got my hands out of the way so maybe it'll work I'm thinking that with this thicker paint I may I have to wash my brush a lot more often. But anyway, I plan to, you know, sitting here thinking about what I can do with this. You know, all the uh, symbols everywhere. Well, you know, we could do uh, light sources for all of those. Right here, there's a nice big smooth thing that would make an excellent gym. A gemstone, not a place to exercise, by the way. So that may be an option. So I can practice on that technique. I've also got the little wheel, or wheel well. Ugh well right there so that may be a good spot to do some water effects not exactly sure what I would do on it rather than fill it up with water still that's maybe not bad of a bad idea And I was thinking about what color the, the Squidward here needs to be. I'm thinking I may try some purplish flesh on her. Don't think I've ever tried purple flesh. And it would involve mixing instead of straight out of the bottle, but... I'm okay with that. And for most of the things I paint, I'm really getting out of the thing there. You know, my strong point seems to be painting monsters. So that purple flesh would be a little monstrous. If I sound a little tired, it's because I am <laughs> doing this late at night, and I have switched to a stand-up cubicle, sort of. 
a lot of the people who work are getting their desks evaluated and getting put in for uh, these standing desks where you just stand up and work on the computer all day rather than sitting in a chair and really kinda looked comfortable to me but the cubicles we've got are able to be cranked up and adjustable and I am short enough that with three reams of paper I can put my monitors up high enough and I can sit there and stand and I tried this once before If you're bored, just mute. <laughs> and I lasted, I think, a day and a half before I decided, no, nope, I gotta sit down. But lately, I've just been you know, trying to find little things I can do to help lose a little weight. I'm not super fat by any means, but past two months I've gained five pounds and coming from someone who weighed a whole buck twenty in high school that's, that's a lot of weight to me I know I shouldn't complain but married life will get you fat quick something about having more than just a box of pizza crusts for dinner that really helps you pack on the pounds. I know it's this last Sunday was Easter, so the kids have Easter baskets full of chocolate. All I want to do is just steal from it. That's a no-no now. I know one thing that has helped me in the past is there's a app called My Fitness Pal. You kind of keep track of how many calories you eat in a day. It'll give you credit for any exercise you do. I'd kind of stopped that. But I'm back on the, the app now and trying to use it again to lose some weight so we'll see one of the big things you realize when you start keeping track of your calories as I put more paint on here on my palette is just how many calories I eat that's just junk yeah. <laughs> It's a funny story. We were at uh, Sam's Club and you know buying things for me to take in my lunch and dinner so we didn't have to cook hard. So I saw the uh, box of Keebler uh, cookies, the little fudge stripes, and it was little mini ones. I was like, oh, well, shoot, 100 calorie packs, I'll get that. So I'm sitting here eating it and my lunch one pack a day for about three days this is before I was keeping track of the calories and decided well I'll just take a look see how many calories this is lo and behold they weren't 100 calorie packs they're 280 calorie packs and oops I wasn't gonna paint that but I guess I will now And so the calorie packs, or the regular packs, were then divided up into thirds so I could have my calorie, 100 calorie packs. And decided even then, eh, those aren't really worth it. Yeah, see that the smooth base here is just not picking the paint like all this did. So it may need 
two coats on it. My dab paint in here. Hang around. Yeah, it really looks pretty well. One thing I was thinking of too is that if this becomes a super long examination of how to paint all the little individual pieces, and do the OSL, the object source lighting, you know, I might not want to show every single brush stroke, but at this point it's going to be. Part of that whole don't want to waste people's time. But if you didn't want your time wasted, what are you doing on YouTube? Hee 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 hee. Got a stray here there. Yeah, see, it's paint is even puddling there, so it's going to take several coats there to get it all done the smooth layer. Of course I guess a real stone I don't have to get it super smooth. It'll almost add to the atmosphere of it. Of course I don't want it to look like concrete either. I wonder if that says just kidding in the sculptor's mind. But yeah this is coating really rather well. If I wouldn't find spots that weren't covered yet. So take this as proof that at least yeah you can paint straight out of the bottle on bones. Although I don't know if anybody was debating that. But I still enjoy priming so we can see all the details but this base coat is getting it fairly well. Just gonna try to dab it in there so it looks a little more natural. Not brush strokey. Oh, we might have missed an entire spot there. Yeah, okay, that's just tentacle. That's a spot though. So, there we go. I'm going to say the first coat of gray is done. I'm going to let this dry and I'll probably do a couple more coats. I finish painting that. Put the, a bit more on there. So, I'll let this dry and we'll maybe put it on another coat, but. I won't show that because that's just going to be repetitive. So, on to a new project, and here away we go. See you next time.